Just a dream. <laughs> Just a dream, yeah. So this is the first time I think I fucking broke down and blubbered like a big uh, girl in front of you, wasn't it? Uh, I think it was actually, yeah. I think it was. Quite right, and so I would be. Yeah. The content, of, content of this song. So basically, um, a good friend of mine, more like a brother that I'd kind of grown up with and uh, gone through all the good, fun teenage stuff with, uh, passed away in 2014. Whilst I was in Afghan, uh, fortunately I got back for his um, uh, funeral and uh, cremation and all the good stuff. But because I, ha I, f I had been away and hadn't been close to him and we just been like talking over messenger and stuff whenever internet was working and bits and pieces. But uh, he got um, he got uh, cancer, so uh, very very quickly he was he went downhill uh, and sadly passed away. But um, I kept having this dream that I was talking to him. And this is what I was talking to you about, wasn't it? Where um, <laughs> and that night I was like <laughs> blubbing. Um, and you were you were brilliant. You were just like no, chill, it's cool. Um, but I was just blubbing because. I basically kept having this really, really visceral uh, dream where he stood in front of me and I was saying to everyone, can you not see him? Look, he's here. And I was uh, just explaining to him, I was going, mate, you know you're dead? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And basically, uh, I took from that, it was just a dream to me. That, that's all that was left. Um, and the lyrics themselves, uh, obviously at the same time, if, you, if you're happy to talk about it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so obviously at the same time, uh, or was it a year later you lost your sister? 2018. Oh, so it was a while after? It was a while after, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously um, you were going through your, obviously, very raw emotion and grief. Um, and we were talk both talking about what we were feeling and um, our emotions. So both those people, my best friend and your sister, are in that song. Um, and the lyrics, um, if, if people actually take in the lyrics, um, once when I was broken, strong words, um, strong words soft were spoken, it's basically people trying to break that news to you that someone you love uh, is no longer here, uh, they're gone, and it's, it's basically that journey, that, um, that fight to get through gr the grieving processes, as they call it, and all those uh, steps. So this, <clears throat> I remember when you, you brought the song to us, and um, there was a different idea, weren't there? There was a talking mm. element of it, yeah. and the idea was, I, I don't know, have you got any songs it was like in the middle eight? Wasn't yeah, it? have, you, have you got any ideas in mind where there's a spoken word? Like, I remember mine is Elvis. I can't remember which Elvis song it is, but there's a spoken word in it. Mm. And I can't remember the name of it. And it was like, yeah, yeah, we're going to try this. And then we played around with this song so much, it went up and down different keys. Yeah. It had three guitar solos yeah, yeah, yeah. at one the point. Structure was so yeah, the structure was all over the place. Um, and we are just playing with it. And I remember when we recorded it, we demoed it in my bedroom. And you had about an hour before you had to get to the airport. And I was playing it on my Rickenbacker, which I don't have anymore. <laughs> and um, we drank too much the night before. Yeah, my throat was raw, wasn't it? I was sweating profusely. <laughs> And I was trying to get this bass line down. Did we go and get some deep? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a break. And we, uh, we, we, but we, we knew we had, we had, we'd caught some magic. And um, and we was like, get, get this, get this down. And then do you remember what happened after? You changed the key, and then a couple of months later, <laughs> do you remember what happened? I can't remember. We were recording it in my living room, and um, I, I unplugged the recorder. <gasps> yes. Oh, I've done something. Yeah. And we we'd, we'd recorded a new version, the new key, because you changed the key every five minutes. <laughs> and I was looking at you, and I went, ah, oh, something's happened. And you thought I was joking. Yeah, it did. And uh, yeah, I was like, no, nah, everything we've just spent like the last three hours recording, it's gone. Yeah. And we had to re-record it again. And we re-recorded re it, it again it in about better. fifteen minutes, and it was better because yeah. it had that raw energy. And um, yeah, and, and that, that kind of like bled, bled, in, bled into uh, what, what we wanted to do in the studio. Yeah, it's, and it's so weird um, singing it live because obviously I never met your sister, but it's, it's weird that I almost sound all hippy dippy and 
but it, it's like you can feel the emotion of what we were going through at that time yeah. and Anna Pull on that live 100% yeah. and I, actually on the album and this is a <laughs> this is no use to anybody listening I don't think we really captured it on the album no uh, when we play that song live it's that's the way it should be on the album I completely agree. I completely agree. And you know, I don't, I don't just like the song off at all. I think it's a great song. But I completely agree with what you're saying. I think um, songs evolve, and that song evolved into something a little bit more mag, even more magical after after we recorded it. You know, you, you, you know, just, if we recorded it six months after, we'd have, we'd have caught that, but we didn't. And um, yeah. It's, it's it's something else live. It's a, it's it's definitely a, a better song live. It's very very enjoyable. We used to start the set with that yeah, quite often, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of moved it around a little bit, but that, that was a set up for quite a long time. Great song. Yeah, just a dream.